And um, I listened to the story, and this is why I mentioned Jeff Brown. Jeff Brown, the starty quintessence to manufacture for Anita Roddick at the body shop. Yeah? And when he first started, he had enough money to put together yeah, the materials for the first batch. Yeah? And he mixed them in his house in Croydon. Yeah? And I remember going down to his house, and he had the materials in, the, in his garage and in his living room yeah? <laughs> yeah, on the floor. Yeah? And he mixed the first batches for Anita Roddick. And the reason that he got uh, quite close to Anita Roddick, Anita Roddick had been to companies like BBA and IFF and asked to buy 500 cc's of rose water. And they all like laughed at her and said, you know, you can buy 200 kilos, yeah? Because that, that's how we sell it. Because to buy essential oils in the market then was very much seen as an industrial type of product, not as something for home healing, yeah? And it's very difficult to get small quantities. So Jeff Brown helped her out, and as a result, Quintessence was born, yeah? And built on the strength of, of Anita Roddick's business. Yeah? And then from there, gone to strength to strength to strength. I happened to have met uh, Jeff Brown at um, a course at the South East London Technical College, which later became the course at Plymouth University. Yeah, the business of perfumery. And we, we became friends. And I became a policeman, yeah, about the same time. L London Bobby, yeah. And most of the course that I'm teaching you comes from being a policeman, not coming, come, hasn't come from being a perfumer. Because being a policeman is all about systems. Yeah, teaching you how to do things step by step. So when you f the first time you go to an accident as a policeman, you don't know what to do. So you have a little list that's been drilled into you. Look after the casualty, look after the obstruction, look, up, look for witnesses, yeah? Call the coroner, call the, you know? And step by step, yeah? And so when I started to look at perfumery, I started to use the same system, yeah? For, for perfumery. So that's where this course really comes from. Yeah? Not out of perfumery, but out of being a policeman. But anyway, so as I was a policeman, in London, you spend the first two years on probation, which means they can throw you out at any minute. So I didn't want to lose my contacts with perfumery. So I worked as a consultant with Quintessence, yeah? and did work in my garage. I had my lab in my garage at home. Yeah, and produce samples. And so I've sort of been involved with aromatherapy for many, many years. Yeah. I mean, Jeff started to supply Anita when she only had one shop. Yeah. So I've been involved. But I was never, never a believer in aromatherapy. To me, it was, it was something that affected the senses, that if, you, if, if lavender oil made you feel relaxed, then you would heal yourself better because you felt relaxed. But that changed about six or seven years ago. And I had a simple thing. I had a wart on my, my finger. And any of you that had a, had a wart, you know if you cut them, they bleed. And they don't stop bleeding. Yeah. So I had this, this wart. And I'd knocked it, and it started to bleed. And a month later, it was still bleeding. And it was bleeding at the rate of dip, 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 like that. Yeah, literally that speed. And I was in our showroom just around the corner. But in an annex we have, we had them, working on a Sunday. And I had this bandage wrapped around this wart so it wouldn't bleed. Yeah. And then I knocked it on the, the corner of the keyboard and the plaster came off. First aid box is in the other, in the shop, can't get to it. So I had a few samples around my desk, and one of them was a, a lavender oil. Yeah, remembering the stories of lavender oil, I poured lavender oil into a spoon, and I put my finger into the spoon. Instantly, 
the bleeding stopped. Concentrated yeah, concentrated lavender. Yeah. So I continued to work with my finger in the <laughs> in the teaspoon with the lavender oil. <laughs> yeah. Nothing was. I was quite quite ambitious then and keen. <laughs> yeah. Continued to work. Yeah. And then, if I took it out, it would start to bleed. So I put it back in. So I left it in there. Yeah. Twenty minutes later, I look at my finger, and it's gone like a white lump on the top. I think, oh, that's interesting. Then, almost, you can almost watch it happening. Two hours later, the wart dropped out. Yeah? Just dropped out. And I'm thinking, wow, this stuff really works. <laughs> yeah? So I became a bit of a, a believer after that. Um, then my, at that time, my, my nephew was uh, Chris, Ryan's best friend, if you talk to Ryan about who, how we got to know each other was out here and uh, he went to Patia first three weeks we did a company trip out of Patia that's John Dean Beach and he spent the whole day in the sun <coughs> coming straight from India <laughs> and he was like broad yeah. and he was like oh he was almost in tears because of the um, the sunburn so being the the uncle the nice uncle I am I got the lavender out and I put it on his shoulder. But I'm also a little bit of a scientist. So I only put it on one side. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need a control, don't you? So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. With it, the pain, the pain stopped almost immediately. The sunburn, without peeling, yeah, cured within two to three days. And this side, did all the peeling business and took two weeks. Yeah? Pure lavender oil. Yeah? So, like I say, a, a little bit of a believer now. <laughs>